it's all fake news. It's phony stuff. It didn't happen. And I want you all to know that we are fighting the fake news. Fake news, it's Donald Trump's favorite buzzword these days, but is it real? Well, like most people, I scan the headlines in the morning and there's definitely a lot of shady stuff out there. For instance, take a look at this article here that claims Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been charged with importing steroids into Australia. This is done on some website called viralspeech.com. And when you look closely here, the, the, the picture is actually just a, a screen grab from a uh, scene from one of his latest movies, Central Intelligence. And as you read the article, you can see that this is actually an ad promoting this vitamin supplement called Pure Muscle X. Pretty frustrating, right? Well, we hit the streets here in Liberty Village to find out what your thoughts are on fake news. I think that lots of news are true. They could be a little twists and little stretches, but I don't know about completely fake news. I think of the actual mainstream media when I think of fake news. You are fake news. According to the Canadian Journalist for Free Expression organization here in Toronto, more and more people are having a hard time telling the difference between real and fake news. 86% say that they're either confused or somewhat confused. The first thing that you should look at is the URL. If it's something really weird, like if the end of it instead of .com is .co .nz .something long like that, yeah. then that's a bit of a tip off. And if, it, if the source of the news is something like the conservative report or the liberal report or something that has uh, obvious partisan bias to it, um, then that's another tip. So the third tip would be go into Google, search this topic and see if other news outlets are reporting on it. For more tips, on how to protect yourself from misinformation, you can visit the CJFE's website and you can also download their annual review that features a spotlight on the rise of fake news. Here in Toronto, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zoomer News, which is real.